Oh, hi. Oh, hi. So this video is a tutorial on how to change your ringtone using your PC or your phone, whichever method you like. For this tutorial, I'm using the iPhone 14 Pro Max with the latest iOS update, and that is 17.6.1, I believe. So let me get to you to a quick tutorial. Let's get it. So you might wonder how it is possible. And it's quite easy. I'm doing this tutorial because many friends, when they see my ringtone, they were like, man, how did you put the ringtone on the iPhone 14 Pro Max, 12 Simple, and the XS? I always use my PC for that. And nowadays, you have free apps on your iPhone with a subscription that are able to change your ringtone. I mean, of course, it will make things harder, but it's still possible. So first of all, prove that I changed my ringtones. These are my ringtones at the moment. I have the Dr. Dre one, and this one is my latest, and this is the SB. So I do have a bunch of ringtones, and without any further ado, I'm gonna jump to the PC and show you how to transfer your audio from PC to iPhone using iCloud. Okay, so first of all, I advise buying copies or have a membership of I think I believe it's called nah it's Apple Music now. So I advise you to use actual music that you bought or rented. I hate subscriptions. But yeah, we got the thin the thin gray line from the Swiss Cyber Status album. And let's say I want to shorten it using my PC. Well, it's simple. For most of my projects that are audio, uh, I use Sony Vegas Pro. So in this case, if I want to shorten it, I already know that. I'm shortening it this way, but don't worry, using the GarageBand app will make things easier for you. But this is just how I've been taught throughout the years. So I obviously want it to sound better, and I'm gonna give it a SB the teen gray line. I, I, simple as that, am I right, fellas? Is it simple as that? Boom, we got our ringtone already made. Easy. Now I got my desktop, and we're gonna go. To our iCloud drive, and as you've seen, I've tested the Tele ringtone from 4G, Patrick Grash, Romanians know him, and I'm just moving into the iCloud, and that's the whole part if you want to use the PC. Okay, so now we get to the phone part. All you have to do is actually download the Garage Band app. You can find it on the iOS store. This is the app I'm talking about. This one. So you're gonna download the Garage Band app. Okay, so now that you get your phone. It doesn't matter if you saved it to iCloud, it's just easier for us to get our song. You can actually save your desired song as a whole song and just place it to GarageBand. So you open GarageBand and you'll be greeted with all sorts of notifications in case you haven't downloaded the app before and you just don't want them to use your notification, don't want you to get notifications from them. And from here, you're gonna go and scroll to the right until you find audio recorder there from audio recorder all you're gonna have to do is click it and at first you will see that this one is where it's uh, a blue icon you want it to be gray or white whatever yes after that you're gonna click over to these hop type things from the upper left in the middle to the others and i already did my song before because it's the second time i'm recording this so you you just want to actually import your song let me show you how it's done you click on this icon right next to the settings app on the upper right you click on it and you browse items from the files app when you click on it you just want to go to your re for me they shows recent but go to browse and select your desired song okay for me i've already made tattoo today so we're gonna do the stingray line you click on it and it's gonna be downloaded over here of course, I've already placed my item, but for the sake of this tutorial, to also show you how to edit it on on your phone. Let's say I want to put it again. So the thin gray line, this one, you click and drag it. Okay, drag it, and I'm gonna place it here, just for the sake of the tutorial. And this one, I don't care about this. It's a this is a reference. So 
depending on how long you want your song to be you could just drag it to wherever you want your part of the song to be for the sake of this video let's say i don't want to play the intro because it's easier to cut the intro okay so let's say i want to be played somewhere around the start of the song close to one minute for example i'm gonna say that this is my ringtone it can be this long trust me it can be but it's gonna loop as a ringtone so screw it i'm gonna make this one my ringtone so after this you just drag and drop and bam you're a dj am i right fellas so i have two samples samples i don't know what samples are okay so we have these two things and let's say i want this as a ringtone you can also make the whole thing as a ringtone so this is my ringtone that i'm creating with you guys okay i don't want this to be my ringtone but basically you just uh I want this to be my ringtone. You know what I mean? This one, and I'm gonna mute this one. Okay, so next you're gonna click this icon over here and just save the file. You see, it's easy. Just click on it and save it to my song. Easy. This is my song too, so to say. This was my first attempt of making a ringtone, which actually worked. So after you have your song my song you click on it well man, this, is, this is crazy you hold it and basically click this to select it what am i doing man click you basically hold it and say share as a ringtone this is where i'm gonna select the ringtone your song as ringtone and you can name it i'm gonna say save it as sb bean ray black fine okay black i hate this shit okay so you're gonna export it as a ringtone now and you're pretty much done you know all you have to do now is wait for it to be exported and go to your phone simple as that type on ringtone just search for ringtone in the settings click on it and boom you guess what it is there teen gray light along with mother ring so this was everything thank you for making it through the end of the tutorial if it helped you and others make sure to like and share it and maybe consider subscribing so thank you for watching and uh, enjoy your new ringtones right see ya